very very efficient and a, a great technological advance on the screw press because with this press that's the heavy plate there with this press you don't have to lift the heavy plate all the way up with this one you put your letters on there ink them put your bit of paper on and you just slide it underneath the heavy plate so that immediately saves all the work of lifting that up and then to press with this press you pull the lever and when you pull the lever it presses the heavy plate down onto your paper and that's how you get a good print. Now you'll notice when I pulled the lever the eagle went up and that acts as a counterweight so that when I let go of the lever the weight of the eagle coming down and lift the heavy plate up. Like so. And then it can slide, you can slide out and there's your printing. Now, on this one the letters you were going to print, the you anti know, form is locked in there. And the ink goes in a little trough there. And as the machine turns, it works on a treadmill. I'll turn it slowly so you can see how it works. That roller picks up ink from the trough and transfers it to that roller. That roller then inks the plate, and that plate would be, because it turns, would after a while become smoothly covered with ink. These rollers come up and pick up the ink, so the rollers get inked. And then the jaws of the press open and they ink the letters that are locked in the bed there and you put your piece of paper on there. At 10 pounds of granulated sugar, 5 pounds of glucose syrup and a litre of water. I've been at a temperature of 320 degrees Fahrenheit 
which is roughly about 156 degrees centigrade. Extremely hot. Now we're going to stick down to a bicarbonate of soda. That's going to give us in the top of the air bubbles. And we're going to mix it with the top of the pan. And we're getting quickly with that glue. And slowly but surely we'll start to mixture rise. You can see the mixture. You can see it in the mirror. Yeah. 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 It's getting bigger. At one point he had an answer. It's going to go to the edge of the pan. Right now, still cooking inside, so just gently scrape the top of the mixture. That's around here, get inside, prevent it from burning. Now, I'm going to leave it here for roughly 20 minutes, so that'll give it enough time to get it. Basically, just get a hard enough base, and then you just start flipping it over. And you leave it there for about another 10 minutes, and you should be able to just break it up. So, very quickly, you'll find that it's already got a base on the bottom. Oh. 